change out the probe sensor, you need to remove two screws, lift this cover off. I'll show you that in a moment. Probe sensor is mounted approximately right in this area. Unplug it from in the front, disconnect it, pull it through. All right, let's remove these screws. Panel comes off easy. Place that aside. Now that we got the cover off, your probe sensor is right here. Push this button in. Pull apart. Easy peasy. And then from the other side, you'll take the two screws out and pull the probe sensor out. When you reach the front of the oven, open the door. I find it helpful to pull the trays out. The racks, actually. And then right in here is your probe sensor. And there's your probe sensor. Remove those two screws, and she'll pull straight out. When you do get the new probe sensor, just push it through, pull the wires through in the back, make sure they're clear, put the two screws in, and just go around back, plug it in, put the cover back on, you should be good to go. With our stove, that we bought at Lowe's used. Uh, it wasn't used long. The oven wasn't even fired up. There wasn't anything in there. No, yeah, maybe, maybe one little splatter right there. So it wasn't used much. Um, it was in the return section, discount area. The original price was over eight hundred dollars. And young lady who was working with us told us she'd sell it to us for $78. So without being able to plug it in, um, I figured I'd give it a shot. When I did remove the rear panel, what I found was a little bit of mice turd and Many of the wires were chewed, including the wire for our probe. It was chewed right through. So I reconnected that, soldered those wires together, put some heat shrink on it, connected it up, went around front, and she fired right up with no C20 error code. So that confirms that the C20 is the probe code. And other than a few other chew marks here that I'll cover up, a few more down here. She seems like she's in good shape. After connecting it up to a propane tank, we found out it does have the natural gas jets. So we ordered the propane jets on Amazon. As you can see, it's a little bit large on the jet size. But one interesting thing is the center burner seems to perform fine with the current jets. Not sure why that is, but we'll check that jet size along with the 
jets that come in from Amazon and see if there are differences. But it does seem to blow blue. It is, the flame is moving around a bit because I have a fan behind me because it's pretty hot out. When I do get the jets in, I'll create a separate video on how to change the jets on the Samsung range. Fairly simple process. Thank you.